If you want to give a kickback to the channel, go to this site down below, Orange NPC, and buy yourself a gaming computer and enjoy GTA Online, GTA 5, Rocket League, all those AAA titles on a brand new Orange, N Orange NPC P computer or laptop and all the beautiful accessories that go with them. Accessories are in the description below. If you want to give a kickback to the channel, go to this site down below, Orange NPC, and buy yourself a gaming computer and enjoy GTA Online, GTA 5, Rocket League, all those AAA titles on a brand new Orange, N Orange NPC P computer or laptop and all the beautiful accessories that go with them. Accessories are in the description below. If you want to browse the internet without being tracked, use the link below, private internet service. You can get a, you can get monthly, one year, or pay two, for two years in a row just by using the link below, private internet service. Browse the internet securely and secretly. Welcome to episode two of the Yankees franchise mode here on my channel let's just show you some of the quick roster changes that happened Mike Trout had joined the team from from the for to help judge in the outfield so let's hop into our first game which is against Toronto Oh great. MLB Rain delay. coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Probably. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. With that, here's a look at the Yankees starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matty, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be, let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark, the sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day, those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting locked up. Gotta find a way to scratch a few across early. Here we go. Now here's the pitch. That was not a good. Lifted in the air out to right. Richard moves over. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Standing in, Kevin Pillar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh. Kevin. Ground ball Open and day. Up the middle. That's a hit, their first of the new season. Hey, after the leadoff knock right there, you know what they say. You get that leadoff Kevin, guy Kevin. on, I don't care how Kevin, it's done. He run. usually comes around Kevin. to score, but let's tip Kevin. our hat to the pitcher. He set the tone in the top of the first, retiring him in the order. Devin Travis stands in as he looks at a cold strike. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion. But sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Now you guys might be wondering how are we in spring where the season one in first video of this and dogs. Insert was here spring training game one. Well, what I did was off camera I just moved this to uh, one of the you spring training really out of playing not playing just for the play. position players but that mound so now is our awfully for real. slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to You know what this really is the second first game of the season in spring. Fastball there to start him out this is bounce foul for the first strike. Pilar is off the first with two away. Called <laughs> strike 0 and 2.
little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And here's big Aaron Judd. In past meetings with Jay Happ, two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. Here's a shot to left run. field and deep. Look at this. And gone up into the second deck. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Ranging back is Pilar. And that one is gone. Wow, back to back to start the inning. Talk about putting a pitcher on notice. On the mound, you almost have to completely forget about those and try to convince yourself you're starting the inning over fresh. No one on, no one out. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The throw into second. And he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks. And it's fouled away. Half. It's racked up over 1,300 innings on the Major League mound and has an ERA just yep. under four. A respectable number that he'd like to improve upon in this one. <laughs> Comes set and the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Pilar patrolling center makes the play one out. Digging in now for the Yankees, Brandon Drury. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He's ready, now the pitch. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Gregorius rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they push their lead to three now. Next for New York, Greg Bird. I'm thinking about getting rid of Greg Bird next. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the first two innings here, and here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Catch made out there in left center as the runner may tag from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. And now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home. And he will make it back in there. He's safe at third. Here's Brett Gardner now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Yankees lead it three to nothing. Next will be the designated hitter, Young Casalarte. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Don't mind the fan in the background. Only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. Stepping in for the Jays to Oscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. Two gone. Right Digging in, Rendell Gritcher, Randall as he'll get Gritcher. his first opportunity in this one. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Zero. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He's pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Now another 0-2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Once. 
Digging in for his second at bat, number 25. 0 for 1 here in the early going. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to high fly ball out to deep right field. Gone. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Smoke is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Riding in once again, Aaron Judge. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. Try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Behind 0-2 now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pilar's there. And the inning is over. One. Leading off the inning, Oledmus Diaz. Leading off and the they'll game. need him to get something uh, going here. Oh, we started him with the change, yeah. and it's nothing in one. Pulled the string on him there as this is popped up. Back behind second. Number 25. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Next to bat for Toronto. Russell, Russell Martin. Martin. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. Hey. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder. Or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt? And this is swung on and missed. His Very fifth dirty. strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Digging in to try it again. Kevin Pillar. And Dan, it seems like this starter is Kevin. just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail it here three to nothing. Ready for another chance. Gary Sanchez. As we begin the top of the fourth. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Owen won the count. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Travis waits on it. And that's the first down of the inning. Up next for the game. Stepping in and ready for another Stop. shot. Didi Gregorius. Gregorius. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Designated hitter. Aaron. Digging Hicks. in the switch hitter. Aaron Hicks. Now here's the pitch. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. On the move is Pilar. He tracks it down, and Let's that strike. will end. So striding in, Devin Travis. He looked to bounce Moore. back after striking Second out his baseline. last time up. Devin. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. You might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count heater. Look for a little bit of change of pace. And Gardner there to put it away for the first down. Baseman, Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Donaldson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Donaldson 
commonly known as the bringer of rain around the game. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Change up, and he ain't buying it one and two. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Got him swinging, Great. chased it well out of the zone, and there are two. Oh, the Yankee match one. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Justin Smoke. First time up, he went down looking. Oh, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Behind 0 and 2 now. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And he struck him out. His out. eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one in. Trying to pick things up where he left he off. Brendan Drury will there try to follow up the Brandon double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Hit in the air down the right field line. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first down. The first baseman number 30. A left handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball oh, away, which I don't right. think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Lifted down the line and left. This will fall, but it's a foul ball. I'm personally trying to get it where Lewis is qualified as the winner. Just Base hit into right center. The relay throw, the tag, and they got him coming back to third. Now back. Number 25. Digging in once again. Number 25. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. He's set and the pitch. Runners on his way to third. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Coming forward now, the Toronto Leading designated the hitter, Yonherva Solarte. So far, over one with a flyout. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Ball in a strike. One one home. Six below the knees, taken for a ball. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now at the plate to Oscar now Hernandez. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Change up messed up his right. timing for a swinging strike. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And there are two away now. Fielder number 15, Randall Gritchick. Here's Randall Gritchick. He comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And he fights.
fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up. The and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will rip. Strike. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, over two on the afternoon so far. Mike lifted in the air out to right. Richard is there, and on one pitch, Trout is retired. Aaron Judge will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. He flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. And there's a base hit on the line. Digging in once again, Gary Sanchez. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. He cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Hernandez going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The relay. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. And that'll bring up a Ledwich Diaz. Start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Missed with a slider. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. The catcher number Riding in once again, Russell Martin Russell looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game. Pounding his own. One out, nobody on. Uh, he's just rolling right now. And even a dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Stepping in, Kevin Pillar. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Strike two. down the third baseline and the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single now batting. Second baseman. stepping Devin. in and ready for another Travis. shot Devin Travis it was a fly out for him in his last trip no balls in one strike high fly ball out to straightaway center number 25 over to his right he makes the play and that'll okay. end the inning Ryan Tapera is out from the bullpen now, now as he'll make here. his first appearance Number here on the 52. season. Ryan Ready for another chance. Didi Gregorius. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. The catch is made on the mound, and that's the first down. How about it?
like. Set after the nothing and nothing pitch. Popped him up. Donaldson is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. How about it? Brandon Drury will bat next. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. The 0 1 on its way. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. I just want to get that again. Into the box, Greg Bird. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the 0-1. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Drury, the runner at first with two gone. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Drury rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores. Four nothing. They lead now by four. That will drive a pitching coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count. And instead of making him chase it something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. Brett Gardner stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. The 0-1. High in the air out towards shallow right. Richard moves over. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, Yankee strike. Stepping in for the Jays, Josh Leading Donaldson, Jays. no hits to this point. Right. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Got him on his front foot. It's 0-2. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. I let him pitch this last one. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. Aroldis Chapman comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. This is their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes. Chapman. It's a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty D, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're down four nothing. Next for New York, number 25. He'll start us off in the eighth. Number 25. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first down. 0 for 4 on the day now. He might have to wait another day to notch that first major league hit. 
Yeah, he's going to have to find a way to slow the game down, shrink the stadium a little bit, and relax. Tough debut, but hopefully he's back in there tomorrow. First offering on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Gritchick is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron Judd. Here's big Aaron Judd. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Oh, I just don't understand that swing. The first two guys made outs on just one pitch. What are they doing up there? Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. D. Rose, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, but there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get to that batter's box. Richard is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. 5 nothing, New York. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He was a ground out pick up last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Ball in two strikes now. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. So he got him swinging. Till Oscar right, Hernandez is dealt with for the first right, out in the Richard. bottom of the inning. Here's Randall Gritchick, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. 4-1. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Two and one now. One out, nobody on. Not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Aledmus Diaz waits on deck. A full count, three and two to Randall Gritchick. I know he's well aware of the fact he can't tie this with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's trying to ignite the boys by driving something out of the ballpark. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Randall Gritchick has retired on strikes for the third time tonight, and that'll bring up Aledmus Diaz. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. The 1-1. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets fouled. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out. Tyler Clifford enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So striding forward now, Didi Gregorius. First All right, the so really I need to just... Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. There. Well, I'm not sure I'm into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed 0 2. 
With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rope, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. They did damage with it. There to play it is Richick, and that's the first down. Now Patton, Digging in to try it again, Aaron Hicks. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Pilar. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Third baseman. Brandon Digging in and looking for more. Brandon Drury, two for three with a double on his line so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. Smoke. Moving to his left, and that ends the inning. Russell Martin now. He'll lead things off against the same reliever Leading that finished off the last inning. inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple Russell innings. The guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Drilled to the right side, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. With that, the Jays put their leadoff man on to start the Center inning. Fielder, 11, Kevin so the lineup flips Pilar. over and digging in, Kevin Pillar. So far, two for three in this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's one and two now. Wow, really close pitch on Owen Dude, That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. The one-two. Swung on and missed, strike three. Stepping into the box, now Devin batting. Travis. It Second was a flyout for him in his last trip. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. High in the air into shallow left center. Gardner is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Third baseman, number 20. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Lifetime line against Chapman. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. One ball, no strikes to count. A one and one count now to Donaldson. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with base hit. Martin leads off first with a pair of bats in the inning. Swing and a miss. He Five. struck him out, and that'll do Three it one. here as the ball game is over. 5-0 the final score today. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Severino gets the win on the mound his first of the year, striking out 12 in the process. All right, let me just put some of my fine suit in there. Thank you for watching this video.